talk a little bit about what you need to do when you're first learning how to read tarot. It's very important in the beginning that you recognize that you're learning a new language, and so use simple layouts. Don't overwhelm yourself with so much information that you can't make sense of it. Now, I've already shuffled these cards, and I'm just going to show you a very simple layout. We're pulling one card for body, one for mind, one for soul, and one for emotions. And the question I'm going to focus on here for this reading is what do I need to do to make sure that I can move forward with the plans I have that I keep getting a little confused over? Now the first thing I'm noticing in this reading is that there are three cards with the fire colors on them. So that tells me that a very important part of me getting engaged in what I want to do is that I've got to get my fire up a little bit. I've got to get passionate about it and really want to do it. And from there, I'm going to start with the card that I've got laid out here for body. This is the Four of Fire, which represents home. Now, the suit of fire corresponds to wands in other tarot decks. And what this card tells me is that I need to really make sure that I'm grounded in my home. My body needs to have a place to rest and relax, a place to enjoy my people when I'm not focused on this project. So home matters to me. The card for my mind is the Mystic of Bridges and it's dream. And this is a spiritual type of energy and it tells me that what I need to do is I need to let go of the limitations in my thinking and just let my mind wander freely and see what's possible out there instead of deciding what's possible before I even give it a chance. The card down here for soul is the Mystic of Fire, which again is wands in other tarot decks. And this card represents effervescence. This is that just bubbly, wonderful, leave a trail of beauty behind you kind of energy. So on the soul level, what I need to do is make sure that I'm focusing on the aftermath, the results of what I'm doing, leaving a trail of beauty for other people to follow in so that I don't feel like I need to clean up any messes I might have made once it's all done. The card for emotions is transformation. This is a major arcana card, and in other decks this card might be called the death card. This tells me that I'm in the process with this project of creating something that comes from something that is already done in my life, something that I'll no longer participate in. I'm building some new beauty out there that will have its own life cycle, that will eventually come to an end. But right now, I'm building it on the fertility of something that used to be part of my life. And I need to be okay with the fact that whatever I'm letting go of is now going to be part of the past so that I can do this thing I'm looking forward to. Now looking at the overall feel of this reading again, one thing I'm noticing is there are no cards that are colored blue, which is the color of emotion. And there are no cards that are colored green, which is the color of the earth and being grounded. What I have here is cards that are about action and spirit. Cards about being passionately engaged in a vision that maybe there's no proof yet on the physical plane will actually work. But I've got it in me to make it happen, and I need to trust that. This is how you do a very simple tarot reading. You can use this kind of layout for pretty much any question that you want. But the most important thing to remember when you're looking at a tarot reading is that you want to look at the pictures on the cards and let yourself be aware of the picture that's being told in those cards. Combine that picture with your intuition, with your imagination, with the things that you already know about life and let that whole package come together in a story that answers the question that you're asking. Take your time with it. Have fun with it. Tarot is a wonderful tool that you can use for all kinds of things in your life, but it's important that you enjoy using it. Have a great time while you're learning how to do this.